Okay, episode 89. We're going to do the, try to do this fast and squeeze it in. I don't even know if I'm going to have time to do it. But um, if you guys watch the other two, this is my third out of four in a row. So we'll give it a shot. This movie was called, well, it has two names, but it's called Man's Son. Okay, end quote. And that's literally how they have it in quote. Um, but how I found it was the resurrection of Charles Manson. Yes, it sounds creepy, but I got curious and watched it on Tubi. So, um, sorry, phone's ring. Uh, so it's from 2023. And Google gave it a 36% rating. One of the worst I've ever seen. Um... And I don't agree with it, so therefore I'm going to continue on with this. Uh, and luckily I didn't know that until after. So this is about a young couple, and they take a trip to a, and I feel this is important, it's a $70 Airbnb. So it's 2023, I don't know, and the Airbnb is styled to be like 70s, 80s. It's really cool looking, however... Um, and it's huge, you know, family room, kitchen, bedroom, bathrooms, whatever. And this is, you know, for a break to practice for her audition for a Charles Manson movie. And it's out, like, in the desert and everything. And uh, so she thinks it's, like, the perfect place to go. Um, the only thing is, I, I don't know what state this is. But I can tell you right now that you the amount of space they had, that's not normal. Like... Maybe if I went to like Camden or something, but like in New Jersey, you do not get places for I think it was seventy dollars. Um, it's that's not mentioned in the review, but I believe that's what was said in the movie. So anyway, just a little side note. So while their um their strange things begin to happen, and the boyfriend starts to wonder if there's a new cult forming until a twist occurs that unlocks secrets of her entire family. Now, um, for those of you that don't know about Charles Manson, although I believe everyone unfortunately does, um, he was the cult leader, I believe in the 60s. Um, it was before my time, but I read a lot about it and watched a lot about it, and so, and I do have actually an interview. I, I did review an interview that I did and gives information on how you can see it. So you can go back to my later episodes if that interests you um, to get a better understanding of him. Um, he passed away in jail, but he was a horrible cult leader and famous for the Sharon Tate murders and um, many other murders. But, uh, and Sharon Tate was a, you know, famous actor, so it was so big at the time and uh and it was horrible horrible what they did they carved her baby out and everything so they were a horrible thing so to worship him is like very strange and these people did it with a little o um they would put an o you know in the ground um on their face um just because he used to do like the same type that you know they had the marks on the head that they all did so Anyway, they also showed, like, uh, old clips of him, and, uh, I believe there were real old clips of him, and, you know, she was just, she would just watch them all the time, and when I say she, I mean the character, um, Tiana, Tiana, yeah, that's better, and that's played by, uh, Catherine C. Hughes, and then, more importantly, Mitch, um, I don't understand where, I don't think I wrote his last name or something, but his name is Josh, um, Place, Place, P-L-A-S-S-E, I believe, and I believe he was also the writer of the movie and played the boyfriend of her, so I didn't know this when I, um, watched the movie, but he's actually the, uh, boyfriend, like, one of the lead characters, and he's also the writer of the movie and got the idea when he actually went on a vacation like that with his wife and they uh, had some weird occurrences um, of things opening that they weren't aware of and then all of a sudden people were back there. So that's where he supposedly got the idea 
um that's just a little like side note whatever so anyway um I'll give you my warnings real quick and then I gotta go so we'll do dog and cat no bug no um drug I don't remember I I think it was no I'm not sure if they showed smoking and I don't know what they were smoking so that's why I'm undecided about that one so excessive gore no um violence and death yes um clown no vomit no blood yes gross scenes there was one um okay spoiler alert uh there was tongue involved yeah the tongue was removed and they showed it after it was removed and then they did show the person who had no longer their <laughs> tongue and um who it was and the whole story to that but i don't want to give everything away so we'll let that go but yes one gross scene tongue i felt um there's other you know horrible scenes but that was the only one that was really gross um so i'm trying to think um hospital no mental institution no i don't even know if i already did that suicide no shaky cam no abortion no rape no um sexual content was yes there was no nudity, but there was, um, a scene between the two characters, um, and actor and actress that I just named, uh, there was a scene of them in the bed at the, um, Airbnb. Uh, not real graphic, but enough for you to know what's going on, and they made sure that they showed that their clothes were off, but they didn't actually show any nudity. Um, kind of like your average type scene, I would guess. Um, Alright, so I'm giving it, um, three stars. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, three stars. I know, big difference from, uh, like I said, in my two movies, back to back, were complete opposite from Google. Like, so opposite, and I'm so confused. There was a, a big twist. This is why I gave it a three. There was a big twist. It wasn't bad acting. There was, it was, you know... A bad subject but there was a bad acting and then there was a nice big twist at almost the very end and then the whole ending was a big twist just back to back to back so I thought I thought it was good I liked it I would definitely watch it once no question um so yeah I have one more movie that I watched and already prepared I don't think I'm gonna get to do it but we'll see. Uh, so go check that one out. And again, try it on Tubi. That's the best way to go. Okay, guys. Um, feel free to give me a like.